I think that's one of those that you always have that trump card. Shaq always has that trump card with Barkley. I saw this play out at the Jim Valvano golf tournament. This is decade, I don't know, 15 years ago. Charles and Michael, I'm with Lou Holtz, Digger Phelps, and, and Quinn Buckner, and we're sitting around a table. We just got through playing golf. And Jordan, Barkley says something. And then Jordan goes all in on not winning any rings, not having any titles whatsoever. And that's the first time I ever saw Charles at a loss for words. You know, Jordan went there. That was the end of the, I'm going to give Michael a little bit of grief here, have some fun at Michael's expense, and he returned fire on Charles, and it was over. Just like that. Yeah, Paul. Yeah, Shaq's done this a bunch Shaq. of times to Charles. This is not the first time on TNT he's gone this route. Charles seemed real when he he retorted back, hey, if I had Kobe, what, what would have happened? And Charles has a really good basketball point there that Shaq won't address. If Charles Barkley played seven years with Kobe, I'll bet you he would have had a title at his peak. But he didn't. But I, that, I think Charles was being real there. Like, hey, man, don't don't get too cocky. I was as good as you. Was he? He was. Uh, you didn't have to take Charles out at the end of games. No. No. But I, was Charles as good as Shaquille O'Neal? I would. Mm. I mean, there there's almost a foot difference between them, which tells you how incredible Charles was. And Charles was a great player. Shaq won titles. You can say that, you know, he... He Shaq, went to, Shaq and Kobe won titles. Shaq, not not Shaq alone. Charles, if Charles Barkley won a title all by himself, it would be the greatest thing in NBA history because nobody wins them by themselves. I was going to say, how many guys have won a title by themselves? Michael. Of course he did. Other than that. <laughs> Shaq, you know, won one with Dwayne Wade. Charles had Kevin Johnson, Dan Marley. He had a great Charles. team in Phoenix. Yeah, he had a bunch of really good B guys. Yeah. He didn't have another A guy with him like Michael had. And, and Shaq had. They had A-plus guys with them. Shaq never had, or Charles never had an A-plus guy. It feels like this is a conversation they've had before. And then I thought Ernie Johnson, right at the very end, Ernie's upset. Like he said something about, you, you, guys, I'm, you guys haven't said, you know, flip about anything. Like Ernie, that, that's as angry as Ernie gets. And it felt like Ernie was like, enough with this, guys. That was a conversation that you probably have had between those two before. And that's a sensitive subject that Charles never won. And Charles will retort by saying, yeah, well, I, you rode coattails here. Yes, he It's a big personalities sort of a bookending that set. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, and very particular ones. That's why they don't put them together. <laughs> you want to separate those two. Yeah. As far from each other as possible. Yeah, Fritzy. Yeah, that felt uncomfortable when they're talking about bums and moving furniture that they're going to, like, let's throw well, down. Well, Charles is laughing, trying to have some fun with it. Shaq's serious, I think. Like, it, it turns quickly. And then all of a sudden you realize, yeah, probably something there. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience. 